So yeah, I wonder what happened to Free One. Oh, another yeah. echo. You sure about this, my love? What if something goes wrong? Absolutely. I've researched this ritual for years. I just need your help. Maybe something went wrong. Maybe that's what Maxton was trying to do. Undo what she did to free one. Oh, wow. It's so pretty. Yeah, something happened here. Oh, more undead. Oh, you're getting hurt. So yeah, what happened here? Necromatic focus? Maxton's research journal. Most pages are scorched black or covered in a thick layer of ice that burns with a touch. Only a few entries are legible. I suppose I could whine or complain that my search for an education led me here to Morthal. Graciously described as a backwater on the best of days, there's not much that I would recommend to other travellers. The damp scent that walls off the rivers pervades everything. And from the moment I arrived, the locals made clear they don't relish outsiders in their midst. Nobody acts hostile, they just keep their distance, which is fine by me. However, three details about this little town cause me to appreciate it ever so slightly. First, if the sun is up, the sawmill operates non-stop. It produces a loud steady drone that helps my sleep during the day. My research into the dark practice is most efficient through the dim hours, so I welcome the ability to enjoy a full day's rest. Additionally, Morpho is precisely the hub of necromantic power that I hoped for. It hums with death energy. My nightly hunt for the source should soon prove fruitful. Then with some adjustments, I can begin the siphoning ritual. Even a partial extraction of the local power should provide enough potency for several years of study. Lastly, I met a local who has become quite the enjoyable companion. She's the daughter of the town's Yar. Although she admits to never leaving Morthol, she exhibits a strange wisdom and curiosity about the world that I admire. Her mother originally comes from solitude, so perhaps she is the source of this unexpected worldliness. But most of all, I've found that she's kind. We spend quite a bit of time together and I've told her about the nature of my investigations. She did not recoil in disgust as many would. Instead, she promised to keep my secret and assist where possible. I confess that I look forward to spending more time with her. I feel like I'm much closer to determining the necromantic source around the town. Last night, I wandered east while testing the soil for traces of mortis energy. The new moves next week should amplify the ambient resonances. Tracking the locusts should be easy during that period. While in the woods, we saw a figure standing in the distance. She watched us but did not move. Freewin called her a clever woman, a local term for hedge mage. For the first time since my arrival, I grew nervous. Interference from some nosy old crone is the last thing I need right now. Oh yes, Freewin joined me on this trip. She had to sneak out from her house, which I found endearing. I enjoy her presence. No one could even accuse me of being a romantic, but walking under stars with her felt precious. Refer to them as the Kenstag Ruins. No one that I've asked knows anything about the history, but without a doubt it contains powerful spiritual emanations. I must adjust the Lenavo siphoning ritual for the sheer volume of energy, but those calculations should be simple enough. Perhaps Freewood would agree to be the living attractant? 
I planned on using a wolf or some other nearby wildlife, but a born and raised native to these lands would be more effective. Lenovo claimed that his attractant suffered no ill effects. Okay. So she used free when in her ritual. In these ruins, explain why you're following me. You're alive? Who are you? And why do you pursue me? First at Havel's farm, and now you emerge unscathed from these accursed ruins. If Maxton sends you to bring me back to her, I won't go. Everyone should just stay away before I kill them as well. Everyone thinks you're dead. I'm seeking the cause of a curse turning people into zombies. No, I still live. For now. The curse I carry will kill me soon enough. I only hope to die close to home. I didn't want to destroy any more lives, or watch memories from my life resurrected to taunt me. How do we stop your curse? Its power grows as it feeds off my life energy. The curse ends once I am gone. I only wish I could say goodbye to my parents. I know it is not my place to ask favors, but could you bring my mother a message? Tell her. I'm sorry for everything. I'll convey your message to Lady Nenetha. Thank you, stranger. Please bring her this locket so she knows the message is from me. Tell mother not to worry. There's a place I love nearby where I can watch the good people of Morthal live their lives. I can be happy there in my final moments. Why did Maxton curse you like this? This was not what she planned. Maxton believed she could improve her magical ability by communing with the powerful spirits that inhabit Kienstag ruins. She asked my help with performing a summoning ritual, but it went horribly wrong. Yeah, I thought so. So what happened? Maxton misjudged the ritual's difficulty. As she struggled, ice grew over the walls and winds blew wildly. She almost gained control. Suddenly, Thane Alstrom and his guards stormed the ruins. Maxton's focus slipped, and the ritual exploded. Maybe that's what she was trying to do in her lair. So that's what froze the soldiers. It shames me to admit, but yes, all those soldiers, my friends and neighbors, dead because of my actions. And now my return home killed even more people. Being near the end, is a blessing. I saw a memory where you called Maxton your love. Oh yes, she was. I loved her dearly, and I truly believe Maxton loved me back. When she realized she'd accidentally cursed me, she swore to find a cure. But as time went on, growing her necromantic power became her only interest. Ah. So she was trying to find a cure for your condition. So she never actually kidnapped you. Is that what they say? No. I willingly joined her ritual, which makes me just as guilty for all this death. Maybe I should have convinced her not to chase so much power. We might still be together then. Maybe. I ended one of Maxton's necromantic experiments ravaging the northern coast. I wish this news surprised me. After I left to come home, I feared Maxton would no longer reign in her desire for power. Her ambition attracted me when we first met. Over time, she grew increasingly fixated. Eventually, I no longer recognized her. Ah, uh, so she was with Maxton in her lair, but then she left to come back home, which is what happened at the farm. I want to help her break a curse. Go to the wise woman. She might help. I don't want her to die. But yeah, go back to Martha. Maybe the wise woman can somehow help free one. Hopefully break a curse. I hope so. 
She doesn't deserve that fate. I just want to return Engvar his belongings. We found a note saying that a thief stole them and they were poisoned. So return him his belongings. Tell him that the thief is dead. Careful not to disturb the fish, stranger. Hard enough to catch them as is. And even when I manage, they get stolen anyway. I'm sick of feeding thieves. I can barely feed my family. I found this note. Is it yours? Yes, that's mine. Ugh, smells awful. Looks like something may have swallowed it. I guess that was the point. Where did you find it? I found it next to a dead Nord woman. Ah, I'd hoped it was a wild animal. I'm sorry for whoever it was, but I didn't have a choice. My family is the most important thing to me. I won't let them starve while some thief makes off with a full belly. At least you know what happened to your goods now. Yes, I do. Thanks to you. You've likely ensured my family will survive the winter. Thank you. Here, take this. I know it's not much, but I can't let you walk away empty-handed. Thanks. Thanks again, friend. You've given me a sliver of hope in these dark times. I can't wait to get out on the water again. I'm much more inclined to fish now that I know I get to keep what I catch. So what will you do now? Well, now that I know what the problem is, I've got an advantage. The smartest thing to do would be to save up some more money and do my best to safeguard my wares. Provided the fish keep biting, at least. Well, good luck then. So yeah, we'll go tell Freewin's mother that she's alive for now. But the curse will eventually kill her. I want to help her though. I want to help Freewin. I hope that's a choice. Heard you wiped out that goblin tribe in Fungal Grotto. Maybe I can go visit the place now. She said she would be here helping that healer. Not the healer, the person that was injured. Maybe she's up there? Can you help him, witch? The curse rots his flesh. I've done what I can. But it won't last. So the wise woman is here. I don't think Brune would still be alive without old Mjolin's help. She keeps knitting his wounds back together with her magic. Then minutes later they open again. Papa told me never to trust her, but maybe he was wrong. So yeah, he was the one that was bitten by the dog that was undead. Now he's becoming undead. Ah, you return. I welcome any good news. Keeping this man from death tests the limits of my skill. Before we speak, Lady Nenefa wants to see you. I told her of what you saw at the farm. This understandably distressed her. Maybe we can help free one after all. I hope. Good, you're back. Old Mjolin told me of your discovery at the farm. She believes that Freywin's ghost somehow heralds this curse. I held out hope of her survival for years. Perhaps finally knowing her fate brings some relief despite it all. Uh, Freywin is still alive, but her curse will kill her soon. She asked me to give you this locket. Still alive? I can't believe it. After all these years, Freywin finally comes home and you tell me she's dying? Why would she have you deliver this locket? I must see her. There is so much to say. Where is she? Take me to her. Uh, no. As heartless as it sounds, if I take you to her, you die. You'll be cursed too. She told me about a place where she can watch Morthal and be happy. Is that by the water where the boats dock? Or perhaps her bedroom where she watched people from the window. The tree! 
Oh, Freywin, that old tree in the forest above Morthal. She would spend hours there. We must go now. You can't. The curse kills anyone who approaches. But you survived. Oh, the clever woman protected you. Speak with old Njolin, please. She knows so much more about magic than anyone in Morthal. There must be something that can cure my daughter. I hope so. I will ask old Njolin if she has a cure. Thank you. I need a moment to process everything you told me. And hold on to the locket. I refuse to take it while there's still hope to keep Freywin alive. Okay. So you found Freywin alive, did you? An unexpected but welcome turn of events. We may yet be able to save her. What did you bring me from the ruins? I must know more about the necromancer's plans. I found some ritual notes and a broken focus. Mm, let me see. Awful! The fantasies of a child! Playing with magic like this invites danger. The energies at the ruins surely overwhelmed her. But this shard... Tell me, did Freywin explain the visions of her ghost to you? She told me the curse resurrected memories from her life. Yes, this is what I needed to know. Maxton's ritual consumed the spirits in the ruins. She wished to gain power by absorbing their memories. Freywin's curse drains her life energy, then manifests it as her own memories. This is how we cure her. How do Freywin's memories relate to her cure? By flooding her with her own life force, we can burn out the curse. Give me her locket. Ah, yes. It hums with emotional power. Once attuned, you can absorb Freywin's memories into it. Fill it with her energy so we may rescue her from death. I will absorb Freywin's memories into her locket. Good. Here is the locket. Nanetha mentioned two places Freywin enjoyed. The docks and her bedroom. You may find manifestations there. When you're done, meet me back here at the tavern. Then we'll proceed. You said the Kenstag ruins would overwhelm Maxton. What spirits reside there? Ah, well, you see, back in the... <laughs> Actually, no. Perhaps that secret should fade into dust. These events show that those ruins best remain undisturbed. Ah, oh, I want to know. Oh well. Some knowledge is best left buried. Okay, so we got to get these memories. I'm glad we can help Freewin. I thought she was dead. But she's alive and we can help her. So, her bedroom would be in the Jarl's hut. It was upstairs where we saw her journal. I think. Oh yeah, here. This locket, wasn't this yours? Yes, darling. And now it's yours. Keep it close to your heart. Oh, that's bright. Okay. Go to the docks and get the other memory. And then we can free her from the curse, I hope. Oh, I don't think I've talked to you. Creatures of ice and snow. Bah! Give me something of substance to hit. Like a, a giant or a, a rich barbarian. You just leave this to me. Okay, here we go. You have a good time on the water. Ah, uh, yes. I loved exploring. I can't wait to do it again. Poor free one. It's 
it's really bright. Okay, let's go back to Mjorn. Quickly, to me. Our time is short. I'm here. Your return may be too late. Lady Nenetha ran off to meet Freywen at the trees she described. She wanted to be with her before they end. If we don't act quickly, she will die. Were you successful in obtaining the memories? No, why? I know she wants to see her daughter, but she's gonna die. I collected the energy we need. Then we can put an end to this tragedy. But we must act now. Go! Join them at the large tree overlooking Morthal to the east. I will meet you after I prepare. What about the locket? Bring it with you. As my ritual to cure Freywin culminates, you must hold the locket before you. Her life energy will rush into her, and the curse should break. I warn you, this may be painful for her, but it is necessary. I'll find the tree and help break the curse. When you arrive, wait for me. Do not let them do anything rash. I will not be long. Do this and Morthal will be rid of this curse forever. Now hurry! I'm on it! Let's go! Stop her mother from dying and doing something stupid. So which tree is it? Oh! Well, I guess we're close. Oh no! Too late! Mother, you can't be here! It will kill you! Freywin, I thought you died! I can't leave you, even if it kills me. It's already killing you! Please, get away from me! Mother, no! Ninetha? Oh no, we must act quickly! Yours the necklace on my command! Hurry! Use the necklace! Release the energy within! Doing it! What? What's happening? She's free! We did it! You did it. I can't believe it. You brought my Freywin back to me. Thank you. I have so many questions for her, and the Jarl, he still doesn't even know. We must... <laughs> Please, give me a moment. Are you alright? I think so. I could feel my skin freeze over. For a brief moment I thought the end was upon me. All I wanted was for Freywin to know she wasn't alone. What happens to Freywin next? She killed many people. I don't know, truly. Freywin's return will raise many questions in Morthal. The Jarl and I must discuss what to say if we say anything at all about what happened here. I promised you payment at the beginning of this. Here, I am deeply grateful. Thanks. Well, this should be a good reunion. <laughs> no longer blue and my heart I can feel it beating again by all the gods I'm alive whatever you and Yolen cast on me it broke the curse I feel heat course through my veins for the first time in years glad I could help I have my daughter back how can I ever repay any of you please if you are ever in Mortal again come see me there will always be a warm fire waiting for you. Well, who did that? It is finished. You performed well. Better than any other I would have found in Morthal. This is more activity than I have grown used to. Perhaps I should find a replacement so old Mjolden can finally rest. Secure permanent? I believe so, yes. We may see lingering effects across the land, but the source has extinguished. When we flooded Freywin with our own life energy, the curse drowned. Curious that Maxton never considered such an approach. Maybe she didn't know. She didn't seem that knowledgeable on magic. Freywin, are you all right? 
Am... am I? Mother, I thought I'd killed you. I would never leave you. It's over now. Rest, then we shall return to town. You two have much to discuss. For sure. This is a pretty tree, though. Yeah, glad it could help. I just want to return to the Yarl's throne room. Because there might be a reunion there. But I'm not sure. What do you want? Just check quickly. But yeah, we helped free one. Broke her curse. She's living again. What do you say? Creatures of ice and snow. Same thing. So yeah, she's alive again. Maxton is dead. So no, no one's here. But yeah, we saved Martha from the curse. Stop Freewin from dying. That is a win. So yeah, I liked this quest. Glad I could help Freewin. And her mother. I know her mother wanted to see Freewin one last time, but that was stupid. Going up there knowing she could have died. But yeah, we saved both of them. And ended the curse. And yeah, Maxton's dead, so she won't be doing this anymore. So I'm going to end this one here, and we'll continue on to Castwatch in the next one. Thank you for watching.